It may be All-Star Weekend, but we can always talk about the Knicks with my guy, CP, the franchise. Welcome into the show. Appreciate you hanging out late with us, my man. Jason, always good to be on with you. Uh, like I was just saying, a lot of talk about OG, but Precious has come into his own for the Knicks. He's getting buckets with Julius Randle and Isaiah Hartenstein out due to injury. Has he played himself into a bigger role for this team when those two injured players return? Jason, when the OG Adenobi trade went down, I sat right there in that studio that you were in and, and looked at Precious Achua as a throw-in in that trade and, and really an afterthought, but so much for the center depth for the New York Knicks. He's been great, averaging a double-double in his last 10 games for the Knicks. He's been a force on the defensive end, contributing well on the offensive end as well. And Precious Achua is a prime example of why coaching fit and who you're playing with really matters. I mean, he played with the Miami Heat. He played with the Toronto Raptors and really didn't generate much fanfare, but he's turned into a fan favorite very quickly here in New York. You look at the month of January, the Knicks only lost two games, and we were thinking they could be a top three, top four team in the East. Now, after dropping four straight, how confident are you that the Knicks can avoid the dreaded play-in game portion reserved for spots seven and eight in the East? Yeah, how quickly things change. At 33 and 22, the Knicks have 27 games left on their campaign, and they still have time. They need to get reinforcements. You hope that OG Ananobi comes back in March. Still no word on Julius Randle. Hopefully he's back before the season ends. And so the Knicks still have time to either maintain or gain ground. However, when they come out of the All-Star break, they face a pivotal matchup against the Philadelphia 76ers, one of three games in the second half of the season against Philadelphia, who's a half game in back of the Knicks. And unfortunately, the Knicks, who are two and a half games up on the Pacers and three up on Orlando have lost the season series against those teams. So in the if the season were to end and the Knicks ended up tied against Indiana and Orlando respectively, they would lose a tiebreaker and drop down. And so uh, they still have time, but there is still uh, area for caution and concern. Okay, CP, quickly here. Jalen Brunson, the lone all-star representing the five boroughs. Look, we all love Brunson the way he plays. He plays so hard, but you've seen how injuries can impact this team. Are you worried about Brunson's style and how healthy he will be with the postseason looming? There's no question he's a downhill and physical guard, but Jalen's smart enough to know when to turn it up and when to dial it back. And also, statistically, he's opted to take a little bit less shots inside the inside the, the arc and at the rim and opting to, to shoot more threes. And so I'm not concerned about his play style. I'm more concerned about the lack of respect that he's getting from the referees. And so hopefully, as the season progressive, progresses, the, the referees will show him some more love and, uh, and call fouls when, when necessary. 